whirly birds, whirly gigs, helicopters. How do they fly? Well, today we're going to make our own mini helicopter and learn about principles of aerodynamics. Leonardo da Vinci was one of the first people to dream up a helicopter 500 years ago. But right now we're going to make our own mini helicopter out of paper. So, a helicopter flies because of support from an engine. It's not like an airplane that has two unmoving wings. A helicopter has two blades called rotors that spin around a vertical axis. These rotors provide the lift that moves a modern helicopter into the sky. So rotors are the key for our mini helicopter. Let's try it now. You can find a template for your own mini helicopter on our website or you can make your own out of paper. It's easy to do. All you need are scissors, paper, and some paper clips, and maybe something tall to stand on. But be careful and have a friend watch you on the ladder so you don't fall. So let's try out our helicopter. This mini helicopter has one paper clip on it. Scientists, as you play with your own helicopter and experiment, I challenge you to add more paper clips to yours. Let's see how rotors work. One, two, three. Those rotors are pushing air along all sides of the axis of the body. The vertical axis is what provides the helicopter its motion in flight. Let's try it again. Ready? One, two, three. Pretty nice. So, when air hits the body of the helicopter, it spins. What happens when you add more paper clips to your helicopter? Let's add two. When you add more weight to your helicopter, observe. It spins faster. This is because the weight of the paper clips adds more to the rotors as they spin. So I challenge you, my science friends, how many paper clips can you add to your helicopter? And what happens if you drop your helicopter upside down? That's for you to find out. I hope you have fun playing with your mini helicopter and experimenting with rotors and aerodynamics. This has been Nina Narwhal for High Touch High Tech. Have fun out there, science friends.